subscribe my channel p sarala hit the bell icon so that you are notified every time i post a new lesson welcome to one more class of sex determination in this class we are going to learn about haplodiploidy so this is another theory uh, theory to explain the sex determination especially in insects it is honey bee in this type of sex determination males are haploid and females are diploid so that's why the name haplodiploidy males produce sperms by mitosis you have to remember this is the only reproductive cells which which are produced by mitosis but not by meiosis and uh, females produce ova by meiosis or reduction division the fertilized eggs if the egg fertilized with the sperm then it produces females females are two types queens and workers depending upon the food they were given unfertilized eggs develop into males or drones so honey bees contains uh, 32 number chromosomes so that is the diploid number so that means 16 pairs of chromosomes are present in females and only 16 number so haploid in nature males are haploid in nature and females are diploid in nature so males produce sperms by mitosis and females produce ova by reduction division or meiosis so the number here the chromosomal number of the sperms doesn't change because the division is mitosis but here the chromosomal number is reduced to half because the division is reduction division or meiosis so this is the difference between mitosis and meiosis in mitosis chromosomal number doesn't change but in meiosis chromosomal number is reduced to half that's why the number 32 that is 2n is changed to 16 that is a haploid number if the sperm and ova fuse the fusion of sperm and ova is known as fertilization and they form the zygote the chromosomal number of the zygote is 32 that is a diploid condition so it becomes a female insect females are two types queens some become queen and some becomes worker so which one becomes a queen females which are fed with royal jelly are turned into queen bees and which are fed with pollen and honey they are developed into worker bees worker bees are female bees but they don't have the reproductive capacity queen has the reproductive capacity so it can produces the ova coming to the unfertilized ova if the ova develop by parthenogenesis so the that is without the union of sperm then it becomes the male so dip, uh, haploid number of chromosomes that is 16 or n so they develop into males or otherwise known as drone bees so the these drone drones do not have father so these have only mother because they are developed from the unfertilized ova that's why these males do not have father but they do have grandfather so the father of the female queen becomes grandfather to this male bee and these males doesn't produce a sons but they have grandsons so males produce sperms which are fertilized by ova and produce only females so that's why no males are formed from the drones that's why you have to remember that the males do not possess father and they don't produce sons but they do have grandfather and grandson so this is about the haplodiploidy in honey bees i think this is a bit fascinating in insects sex determination is fascinating in insects hope you understand happy studying